Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Megan. And today I am going over Carrie Underwood's Find Your Path book and I'm explaining what Fit 52 is. Sorry if you can hear my son, he's running around in circles. He is getting fit, apparently, <laughs> getting his exercise in. But um, anyway, Carrie, she is all about getting fit. And at 52 weeks out of the year. This is the ph philosophy of the Fit 52. It's a way to get fit and it's a way to stay fit. And it is also a way to think about health. Fit 52 means doing what's good for you almost all week long. But if you're getting active and exercising on most days and you're eating good food in moderation, you're living Fit 52. You don't have to do a structure, structured workout every single day. You can still indulge in treats every once in a while. You can still celebrate holidays, hang out with friends, and live your real life. The beauty of Fit 52 is that it keeps you on track no matter what. It means messing up won't de derail you. If you miss a workout, it doesn't mean that you fell off the wagon and that you can just eat cookies all day on the couch. Instead, it means that if you slip up, you can put it in perspective. You'll see that the missed workout that you had was a nice day off, but you will be healthy for the rest of the week. And if you're anything like me, you will. if you do a workout that you absolutely hate, you're not going to want to keep it up. As soon as you stop and start doing what you were doing before, any good work that you had done will be undone. Fit 52 means integrating healthy behaviors into your life in the way that you enjoy so you can keep them up. Are you like Carrie? As with Carrie, she likes to record all of her workouts in her journal. Some people like to do this. They like to remember how many sit-ups they did or how much weight they lifted so they can keep progressing and keep their workouts organized. Or they may use technology, tracking every exercise, minute, step, or every calorie burned on their phones or their fitness watches. Others, like me, aren't that interested in keeping track of every single move. I do ha uh, like to um, keep on my, uh, I have an app called Lose It, and I like to put in everything that I ate for the day, if I remember. Sometimes I forget to do it, but I do like to do it because it tells me how, if I want to lose so much weight, I can put it in and, ha and it will tell me how much calories that I can consume that day. So every, for my breakfast, I may eat 300 calories. It'll probably be more like 500. <laughs> but then lunch, it will tell me how many I need to do for lunch and how much for dinner. And if I go over that amount, it will put it in red. So it was like, hey, watch out. So you need your workout to get your calories down. So it, every, for every workout you do it, you put it in and it gives you how many calories that you burn while doing it. And that, add, that is added up on how much food, it goes to the same area where it counts how much food you are. And so for every calorie you burn there, it, it adds on to the food that you consume. So it kind of levels out. I hope that makes sense. If you are interested, if that sounds interesting to you, go to the Lose an app and um, check that out. That's the app that I really like. It's my accountability tracking. I think everybody does need accountability tracking. Like Carrie's journal and her fitness watch is what help, is her um, accountability tracking. She has it in her phone and her app, but then she said every single morning or at night, I can't remember which one it's, but she'll go and she'll write down all of her. Um, everything she ate in her journal and every workout she dedicated and I, that's great but I'm quite not there I'm not quite there yet that would be great for me to do I just I don't do it yet <laughs> but I um I have been talking to my doctor I don't know if I explained this in my last one or not 
but she does want me to do intermittent um, fasting and she also wants me to um, count my steps so I've been counting my steps for the last few days and they're actually a lot lower than I really thought they were so I would need to step that up <laughs> I'm trying to do more steps every than I was doing the day before so that's my goal but what you need to do is just record what's going to keep you motivated and what's going to keep you inspired just to keep going remember that this lifestyle is what is going to work for you and what you will realistically implement into your daily schedule like I said before the fit 52 lifestyle is trying to be healthy the most you can in a week every week all year long sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background her big brother and her daddy's in there with her but she is crying but um yeah um i want to get this video out real quick <laughs> but anyway that doesn't mean that you do 100 sit-ups or 50 push-ups every single day without fail structured exercise is great and very important but the truth is that uh, a lot of people can get exercise just living their daily life in a more active way. This is important because we all need a way to manage the pressures of our daily lives. We are all under some kind of strain physically, mentally, or emotionally, and or emotionally. Or more likely, we are working with a combination of all three of those every single day. Some are easy, but then there are hard days. Maybe your work is challenging or your home life is hectic or you're just under a lot of stress. I feel you. I get it. You need a way to manage your stress and make your busyness more productive. To get through it, we all need endurance. And guess how you get endurance? By moving more and building stronger muscles and a stronger heart and lung capacity. Moving with intention will decrease your stress, not make it make more, not increase it. It will make you think more clearly and breathe easier. You will feel calmer. Exercise is the trick for making it through the best days as well as the worst ones. How do you start? The first is to figure out how to fit more constructive movement into your life. It doesn't have to be a formal exercise, especially if you haven't worked out in a while or ever. Think of all the things that you have to do every day. How could you make those more physical? Carrie purposely makes her daily life more physical as possible. One way to do this is to be more active in your home life. Carrie might, tries to make everything she does around the house to be more physical, an opportunity to be more physical. One way that she gets more active around the home is by being inefficient. She'll take things up and down the stairs way more than she really needs to, just for the exercise. So if your laundry is upstairs, she'll take, she'll take a basket up and then she'll get one thing and bring it down and bring it and then go back up to get something else and so on she's always putting things away i know if you're a mother like me like clothes and toys and she feels like she's always running around after her kids and so do i <laughs> to sum it all up life can be strenuous life can also be stressful and exercise helps with that too exercise is something that you can do throughout the day as you go up about your day fitting a more structured exercise session into your day will make all the other parts of your life easier okay next I'm going to go into the journal part if you've seen my other videos you know that um, Carrie likes to keep a journal and she has put in her book different little journal entries and this one is called here's Carrie going up and down the steps with her laundry she says that she actually doesn't have um, anybody take care of her, her house. She says she has a maid once a month, but she doesn't have a chef or anything like that. So she does everything in her own house. Okay, this is called Are You Tracking Yet? And it says, um, 
When I moved to Nashville and started working with trainers and learning about how to exercise and eat for health instead of just to be thin, I also started expanding my journal beyond calories to include more comprehensive information about what I was eating and how much nutrition I was getting. I started tracking fat, carbs, and protein. At first, I wasn't sure why I was doing this, other than I liked information I want out other than I liked information and wanted to know if my eating was balanced. I wanted to compare my days and this helps me stay on track. I began tracking all this information in my journal in 2006 or 2007 and then I discovered that they have actual diet and nutrition tracking apps like I was saying my Lusa app. Today uh, she uses an app called My Fitness Pal to keep track of my calories and nutri nutrients, and it does the math for me. I click on the foods I eat. It has a huge database of foods, and the app adds up the calories and shows my percentages of protein, fat, and carbs for the day. I can see if my percentages are on target for my goals and I can look back to see what my percentage percentages are or what they are. Maybe my fat percentages is high that day but then I can see that I had half an avocado and I know that's because that's okay because it's in healthy fat. Recording everything in the app helps me keep things balanced and when I know that I have an occasion coming up where I will probably eat more, I can adjust my me other meals accordingly. But you can still call me old school because every morning I copy the information from the app from the day before into my journal, along with everything else I want to remember. I think that keeping track of this kind of information is important for an accountability as well as health. I write down every single thing I eat and every bit of exercise I do. Sometimes I might want to eat something bad, but knowing I have to write it down stops me. I suggest you try this. It might seem annoying at first, but once you make it in a daily ritual, it feels more like something you do just for yourself to stay committed to your health and well-being. All right, so that is all for this video. If you like this and I helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe because I'll be doing more out of um, Carrie's book. And if you've missed any, please go and watch it. I have a playlist just for my fitness journey. And hit that bell so you never miss any of my other videos. All right, until next time. Bye.